Hey guys, it's HodgePodge here, and today we are going to be doing a review of the Mattel Battle Damage Jurassic World Albertosaurus model. I believe this is the third version of this sculpt of the Albertosaurus in Mattel's Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom line. Uh, this model I've been looking for for quite a while, but I just couldn't get my hands on it. Luckily, my very good friend, the Ark Minister, who runs the Great Primeval Show channel here on YouTube, was very kind and sent it to me. On the grounds that I do a review of it, and I am more than happy to oblige. Now, Albertosaurus was a Tyrannosaurid dinosaur from the late Cretaceous of North America, around 72 to 69 million years ago, roughly. And, of course, it was named after Alberta, Canada, which is where many specimens have been discovered. And so, without further ado, let's get into this model. Now, right off the bat, the coloration I really like, especially the very striking orange stripe on the head. Uh, the body's kind of like a swampy green kind of color, and then the lower jaw and the, uh, the throat are in kind of like a cream yellowy kind of color on on the camera it looks a lot lighter on camera but in person it's a lot more cream colored uh, we can see the yellow eye there there is a bit of shrink wrapping on the head unfortunately uh, but the teeth and the interior of the mouth has been really well sculpted uh, the roof of the mouth has kind of been sculpted but it's kind of hard to make out uh, the tongue has been really well done uh, it's got like a genuine wet look to it, and the teeth are well sculpted and painted. I'm really impressed with the quality on this. Now, as we get to the back of the head, uh, there's a lot of spikes for some reason. I'm guessing it's just to make it look more fierce, but uh, I am glad that we have the characteristic crests over the eyes that Albertosaurus is well known for. They might be a little bit too big, and they might be a little bit too far forward on the skull. They should probably but it'll be um, roughly over the eyes but uh, it's not a huge issue and there is a bit of shrink wrapping here uh, both on the antorbital fenestra and also on the orbit but I don't think that's really that big of an issue now you can see it's got an articulated jaw uh, we'll get onto more of that later uh, same thing with the swiveling neck now the arms are articulated but they might be a little bit too big uh, the Claws aren't painted, unfortunately, but we do have the right number of fingers, which is two. They're kind of pronated, unfortunately. Uh, but I think it, with the Jurassic World line, it's kind of to be expected. And honestly, it's I've seen worse. Uh, the swiveling arm joint is really cool, so you can get it into uh, not a ton of poses, but the fact that they're articulated at all, I think, is a really nice touch. Look at this side. This one also moves, of course. Uh, this one's a little bit looser than that one on mine. Uh, now when we come to the legs, the feet are enormous. You can see there's the QR code. Uh, the holes that were for the packaging allowed it to stand. Now the leg articulation is quite interesting on this model. In that it stands in only certain positions. There's this one where it's standing really tall but the tip of the tail is kind of bending on the floor, uh, on the floor, on whatever surface it's on, but uh, the detail on said legs is really cool. You can see a lot of the scale, uh, the bird-like foot scales there on the feet. They are huge, but the model does stand, so I can honestly forgive that. Now when we get to the tail, this sculpt in particular is kind of um, infamous for having a really short and stubby tail. And yeah, it, it does look a little bit silly, but it's it's honestly not too bad. Now, as you can see, as I twist the tail, it also twists the neck. And if you look here, there's a button, and this is the uh, action for this model. So it's got this biting action, and it's really cool. It, I, I imagine kids will love biting and fighting with their other toys with this. I think it's it's really well done. The mechanism is really uh, responsive. It doesn't feel cheap or flimsy at all. It feels very solidly constructed. 
and I think it's just a really great toy. When you look at the back, you can see that the, uh, the spikes are going down the spine all the way to the tail. Uh, there you can see the button. And a very stumpy little tail. Now, the reason I wanted this model is simply because it has such a close resemblance to the Albertosaurus from uh, the Primeval spin-off, Primeval New World, and I love the Albertosaurus in that show. It looks so cool, and this one looks so much like it. I believe the first paint scheme of this sculpt uh, resembled it a little bit more closely than this one, but this one definitely looks more like it than the, uh, I think it was a light blue and yellow one. That was the second version of this. Either way, I am so, so happy with this model. And if you can find it anywhere, uh, I highly recommend you pick it up. I know Mattel's a bit iffy when it comes to distribution, but honestly, this model is worth it. I am so happy with it. Uh, now, something else that struck me about it is how huge it is. So, giving this model a measure, in terms of length, you're looking at about pretty much 35 centimeters on the dot and in terms of the height the back of the head it's about near enough 15 centimeters so yeah big model I've had some trouble getting it into frame as you can probably tell but uh, yeah that's all I have to say on this model it's a really wonderful one it's well sculpted well detailed the uh, the action feature is really fun as you could probably tell from the start of the video it works really well it stands well and it just looks awesome, and I love the paint scheme. So once again, thank you so much to the Ark Minister for sending this to me, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye now. What's that? You wanted a satisfying ending? <laughs>